Hey, America, Chef John to get a gourmet. Yeah, I just got home and the kittens, hey, Tigger, Tigger, Tigger. They're very intelligent kittens, as you can see, and they um, know their names at nine weeks, the names I've given them. Earth, 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 Earth. Hi, Earth. How are you? What are you doing? You got a piece of paper? Earth. Earth. Hi, Earth. How are you? And they will look you in the eye and they will get up on your mat and where's Tux? Well, anyways, um, we're gonna, I'm, I've been thinking all day about like the last inflammatory videos that I put on and, um, I'm going to, I'm going to review them one more time to make sure that the, the final outcome of each one of these inflammatory videos of things that have happened in the past will lead us into a better template now i say that because this is pretty serious to me i mean we ain't got no music we ain't got nothing all right we just got you me camera and some rice a couple of eggs and some linguica and some onions in a moment and some celery and we're just going to talk real all right now, I went through some stuff in this town, and what I did is I went and I gave you a beginning and an end. I gave you this guy now, and I gave you a guy from like 13 years ago, right? But I didn't show you the progression of how that man, that man back then, learned to become this man now, all right? And why I say the things that I say now. And really, I ain't out to step on nobody and disrespect nobody as a human, as an individual, as a brother, right? But um, I will call you out, all right? I will call you out. I'm pretty much at the point where I just don't care, all right? And I get heated, and I'm going to tell you what's on my mind, right? And if America needs to hear some stuff, they need to hear some stuff. And if the town needs to hear some stuff, they need to hear some stuff. And it might be about my life, or it might be a little spooky, or it might be a little controversial. Um, but if it needs to be heard, there's a reason. Now you guys, well, this guy's just spouting off, right? I'm down here just um, dicing some celery and running some onions. All right, I'm doing real simple work down here. So um, it's very simple to work with linguica. We're going to get a little garlic. Um... Now, so you guys, just uh, this guy's just spouting off at the mouth, right? And he's talking all this racist stuff, and he's talking all this people trying to kill people. And I'm talking about a gangster past. I'm talking about, like, I seen the way, right? And I was trying to do something in the middle of it. And if you can feel that, if you can hear me, if you can understand what's all over these walls, right, man, and you go and find my writings... And you find out who this brother is, right? And if I'm dead or alive, man, hear me? Feel me? All right? These are all dead, right? Many of my brothers and sisters, man. This is what it is, man. All right? And what? Look. <laughs> Y'all know I'm ill. So I'm like, might as well. Might as well break it all real to the community I'm in. And try to lift it all up. And tell you what happened and what down. And um, give it to you real on all levels because what do I got to lose other than telling the truth the best I can. Now, I will tell you that I, I do the best I can to tell the truth. And um, I won't here. I'm going to cut the little waste. Kitten's going crazy. Um, if I fall off the truth, either I will tell you. I'm not going to tell you that right now. <laughs> And I'll be pretty straight with it. Or, uh, and it'll be in the book. Because once I hit the book, I'm going to reach a level of truth that's going to shock most of America. Um, and how a man can get to where I am in the sense of, excuse me, my way. I've been down, uh, Eugene, I had a great meeting today with uh, some of the SCORE volunteers. I saw an old brother. I played with Val and the baby. Um, I ran for a six pack of beer. I had a beer too. We hung out. He made this awesome pizza that was better than mine.
okay? <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. The whole, the whole thing was better than mine. And, yeah, I eat some cold linguine, so I'm really, really hungry. That's why I started the rice as soon as I got home. I'm going to add a teaspoon of just regular vegetable oil to the rice. And then a little dollop of butter. I'm trying to save my butter. So I'm going to use a little vegetable oil since I've extra this much. Uh, offset it. No, oh, Sorry, I have food in my mouth. I'm trying to do the show. So I said some pretty heavy stuff. I gave out where I was and what went down. And, uh, <laughs> excuse me. This is me choking on that shit, man. Fuck it. I said it. I done it. <laughs> My buddy said, I thought your show was PG. I said, well, it was for a while. Most of the time. Almost all the time. I really like keeping it PG. I like keeping it about food. Um... Because that's what most of the show is about. But the show is also about me, man. And um, so I'm really trying to like get you ready for a book that I've written. And I, um, some new concepts. And, um, and which are really old concepts in food. And, you know, things have been around for a long time. Good food, quality food, things that are going to make you healthy. Things that when I met the guys today, and I find as a professional, um, I hold my own rather well. And the men thought I was in their tw my 20s. And they said, we've never seen such zeal for somebody who is trying to pull some help for somebody. Which is, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not in the Hope Community Preschool. Um, I'm in the church, and... Um, I'm an associate of the preschool, meaning I'm a guy who's got time on his hands and a lot of thinking ability. And so what I've done is a preschool can make money, and these are nice people. And they have a real special ability because some of them are handicapped, and some of them are handicapped bad, and they're associated with, they run groups there already for people who are, who are blind and dog training. And so they have a, they have a very... <laughs> special ability ugh, to communicate with people who are um, dysfunctional. <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> that was almost wrong. All right, so I'm cutting down my butter. Uh, there's a lot of oil in Guisa. I got to be careful with this thing so I do a dribble because when the oil expands at heat, it really goes like it triples. And then we're going to go linguiça, brown, hard veggies, turn it up, and then we're going to scramble in. And I wanted to have, actually, rice from yesterday, but I ate it all, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure I did. That was the pan right there. Looks like I got another pan hidden. I could do that. I could hide a whole pan of rice from myself and never even know it. The other day, I hid this whole cabinet of spices from myself. Look. The whole cabinet, gone. I'm like, where is my chip? What is it? Well, I'm freaking out. I'm like, how did that stuff disappear? In my curry, my royal curry. Yeah, when I freaked out. So, I want to say, as a chef, <laughs> as a guy who's just running a YouTube channel, as a regular uh, everyday dude, I kind of went off and said some heavy shit. And, you know, take it as you will. And um, I don't think you want to come by here. I ain't trying to come by your house. Um, but you, we already talked about that. <laughs> what I'm doing here is um, rice has a certain speed and i started as soon as i walked through the door as soon as this video started nine minutes ago and i've got it at a nice bubble there and then I, i'm going to take this and i'm going to high speed saute it um 
I just wanted to clear up my last group of videos. I don't want you to tune away. I don't want you to think I'm gonna start tripping on this, on this show. But I had to say some stuff, and it's been boiling in me. And I now, now that I've like got some blessings uh, of a different sort and refocused, um, I got it out of my system, man. Everybody deserves a moment. There we go. And um. So if we're going to do that real hot, and I'm real hungry, oh, I'm not going to do that. I almost forgot. I'm building something special here, and I forgot this anyways, but that's okay. I can caramelize these a little bit. I don't mind. I'll turn it down, and then I'll put, um, I, I, I got caught, I'm, yeah. All, all I can say is I ran for beer. And you guys know I do not drink. <laughs> so I put a little garlic in there. A little butter right on top of it. Put the garlic away because it's toxic. And, um... Put that worked in. Whew. What we lose here. That went on the floor, I know. You know, I don't go with the floor. I had a chef once yell at me for throwing food out that hit the floor. I just kind of looked at him like he bumped his head and then. In a reputable restaurant, right? But I won't go down on the restaurant. I ain't like that, right? It's, you know, the dude was just out of line. I've seen a lot of out of line stuff in restaurants. All right, so that's all I want, man. And then... I'm using this pan, ha ha ha. All right, I went and put it all in there. Just so I can scrub this pan, I'm losing my Teflon on it. What's amazing is that like this Teflon pan and so many things that I've given out out of explosions of love have been like derivatives of like forms of hate that have been directed at me so if I blow up I think there's some really good shit that might come behind it because <laughs> I usually blow up just before the really good shit hits and then I'm like whoa but you know I'm gonna hold to my story because I'm not gonna change it in my book I'm not gonna change who I am um, I'm not gonna try to be the media's pleasure or your pleasure um, but I am going to try to cook you some awesome food. You kittens got to, like, get under my feet. Look, 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 look. They're right, like, there's one there. There's one there. And they're not happy with the old food, right? And I'm like, get over it. We have to have discussions about food in all levels. Kittens don't have any kind of, like, special rights. So the rice is coming down. It's starting to tunnel. I'm going to turn it down to three. I'm going to hit this with a little oil, okay, and then actually I'm going to turn it off because I want my rice done. All right, all right, so what we're going to build is we're going to build something that's just like off the hook. Like I'm going to put down a layer of rice. I'm going to put the um, uh, this on top of it, and then I'm going to put a set of over easy eggs on top of it. Because I'm very hungry and I realize that like running like I ran like 13 miles 12 miles 10 let's talk it down right let's not try to boast yourself I don't know I run and ran a lot <laughs> for the last two days and then I did a lot of walking today a lot of head work um so I'm hungry I couldn't get enough to drink yesterday after my I ran twice and I worked out on the bag and I, when I do that in heavy cycles, I just can't, like, you know, I can't get enough to drink. I can't get enough to eat. I take all these minerals. and well, Anyways, so I push myself kind of harder than I would expect anybody else who's working out. Somebody asked me about, like, physical care. And I want to let you know that don't push yourself too hard. Don't get hurt. You can't get better if you're getting hurt too much. So, our rice. Okay. And then you guys really know I like the low and set it. Um, we still have pizza. My buddy made this pizza out of this green cream sauce. 
hamburger, then a pizza mix, um, and he had this very, um, he, he did way better than I did, right? Um, I just shot off my very first one out of a processed recipe, all right? He used olive oil on the outside. He chopped up a bunch of olives on the inside of the bread. Um, it looked like he used whole wheat bread, which uh, right there gives yourself a little bit more oomph. Um, uh, he used ground hamburger, onions, and then topped it all with the cheese and then laid it out just in a pan, not on a fancy pan or anything. But he put olive oil all over the outside, and it was a very, very sticky dough. So um, the next time we do, not the very next time I do pizza, next time I do pizza, we're going to do it short and quick and um, without any long stories of psychosis of um, past events that were traumatizing and therefore divine. <laughs> so I got to say, I'm still alive to say that right there. And I ain't going to stop saying it. And um, if you believe in me, if you feel me, if you read, if you... If you G enough to get mad at me, <laughs> be G enough, as um, yo Malcolm X said, as Sonny Barger said, and all of them, you know, Cesar, um, I said his name wrong. I'm sorry, Hispanic gentleman. Cesar Chavez said, man, you know, educate yourself. All right. So um, we're letting this all come together. I'm going to saute them eggs. Let's do it. Can you hear the kittens down here just like looking at that bowl of food? See, I mix that bowl of food with good food and old food, and they're not touching it. They're starting to learn bad habits from their mother, and I'm not having that. I'm like, you guys. All right, this should be a lot hotter. It's too late. Eggs in it. You shouldn't do it on the side, actually, because you can pierce your yolk. Because when you're doing a downward motion, the yolk is often... Did I break that one over there? Yep, that first one broke. Um, that tells you the quality of your eggs, too. And your, and your white runoff. See that huge white runoff I'm getting? That tells me this is a low quality and an older egg. And see how off-center the egg is? That one is centered, but that one is way off-center of all its meat, right? And um, But it was uh, I put it into a cold pan. It would have worked better. But as a display, it does all right. All right, so I'm letting that heat up. I put it on high now. I'm going to put it on seven. My rice is ready. I mean, this is just poor man's food, you know what I mean? Get home, want to eat, want to be like, yeah, and just want to get down with some food in less than 10, 15 minutes. All right, we got a little stick there. Right. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. That one was broken. All right, and then... So I'm going to let that crazy stuff on my station stand. I'm going to reopen the conversation with uh, the President Obama. And then I'm going to try to do some writing uh, to, I mean, with my book. So you guys can be like, okay, 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 okay. Here's the 13 years in between this Thor and that Thor. And how he changed and all the programs and all the, the life changes and all the spiritual epiphanies and and all the joys, and all the hates, and all the realities, and all the, the work, and I'm making this one kind of hard over, but I still got a little soft, all right, we're putting that down, bam, right there, like that, just as a little pillow, um, I could even put a little cheddar in there, do that what is what is what is cooking without a little adventure and i'm good enough to go hey egg get back in the pan and then hey cheese get in the egg and then hey egg turn halfway mm. and start rolling over get that cheese melted all i gotta do is steam it for a second and while i'm at it i'm gonna salt and pepper that egg 
and cheese. Whoa! You better not spin that nowhere. Um, and then this over the top. I'm just making grub while I'm at home, and I'm clearing up some, because I said some heavy stuff, you know what I mean? And there might be a bunch of mothers out there with, you know, da -da 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 -da, freaking out. And um, from all levels, from polite society to um, the underground, but um, I'm just trying to keep it real, all right? And we've come a long ways, and I've come a long ways, and if, go read my stuff before you judge a man, and, and don't overstand the idea, man, all right, over the man, you know, let the idea stand for itself, don't, you know, don't put me all up in the idea piece up, because it's not all about me, it's about actually each and every one of you, so um, this is in my, uh, this is in my conclusion to my last couple of days rants about what's been going on here and in my life and what's happened a long time ago is um, let's create, create conclusion and then look where we need to move forward and just handle it. And if you don't like it, well, sorry. And um, I hope you like my food. <laughs> we're going to keep cooking. So this is what we're looking at tonight. Look, we're about to lose power. Um, I want to be gentle tonight. Uh, and there's enough oils in there and enough pepper. So, Chef John to get a gourmet. Peace. If you dare, peace up. If you really dare, see if you can stay alive running around doing that. <laughs> see if you can see with a, do it with a smile, man. Watch your home burn. Watch everything be taken from you over and over. Doing all that time in 8x10. Coming out. Have some heaven, man. That's where I'm at. You hear me, Jesus? All right. Jesus, please. Peace.